नमस्ते बिटिया हमेशा खुश रहो बिटिया मायसेल जेवियन डॉक्टर आस्था सिकरवार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ऑर्गन ऑफ मेडिसिन फैकल्टी ऑफ होम्योपैथिक साइंस ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेन्स यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर टुडेज टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम साइकोलॉजी कॉन्फ्लिक्ट द वर्ड कॉन्फ्लिक्ट हैज बीन डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम लेटिन कॉन्फ्लिक्टस अराउंड अर्ली 15 सी कॉम टुगेदर प्लस फ्लिगर टू स्ट्राइक according to oxford dictionary a conflict is a serious disagreement or argument typically a protracted one according to merriam webster a struggle for power property etc is known to be a conflict so from above definition we can say that conflict is a disagreement or a struggle between two parties ideas and entities a perceived incompatibility of actions goals or ideas the elements of conflict are much the same at all levels from nations at war to cultural dispute within a society to individuals in a marital dispute according to eric erickson's theory of psychosocial development a uh, conflict is a turning point during which an individual struggles to attain some psychological quality sometimes referred to as a psych social crisis this can be a time of both vulnerability and strength as the individual works towards success or conflict in psychology is the arousal of two or more strong motives that cannot be solved together a youngster for example may want to go to a dance to feel that he belongs to a group and does what his friends do Causer 1956 conflict is a struggle between opponents over values and claims to scarce stature status power and resources this is 1973 conflict takes place whenever incompatible activities occur pruitt and rubin 1986 a conflict is a perceived divergence of interest or a belief that the party's current aspirations cannot be achieved simultaneously according to coleman a conflict is the anticipated frustration entitled in the choice of either alternative conflicts occur in the individual when more than one equally powerful desires or motives present at the same time and pressurizes for immediate satisfaction according to tetchfell 1979 conflict refers to any time you have opposing or incompatible actions objectives or ideas conflicts can be between two persons countries groups or even within one person an internal conflict conflicts are problematic and must be addressed in order to have peace productivity or harmony park and burgess 1921 likewise treat conflict as a distinct form of competition both are forms of interaction but competition is a struggle between individual or groups of individual who are not necessarily in contact and communicate while conflict is a contest in which contact is an indispensable condition according to mass weber a social relationship will be referred to as conflict in so far as action within it is oriented intentional to carrying out the actor's own will against the resistance of the other party or parties thus the social interaction of conflict is defined by the desire of each participant to impose his will upon the other's resistance gillin and glen 1948 road conflict is the social process in which individual or groups seek their ends by directly challenging the antagonist by violence or threat of violence to sum up it may be said that conflict refers to the struggle in which competing parties attempting to reach a goal strive to eliminate an opponent by making the other party ineffectual or by annihilation nature of conflict it is a universal process found in every society it is the result of deliberate and conscious efforts of an individual or the group the nature of the conflict is personal and direct in conflict the incumbents or participants know each other personally it is basically an individual process its aim is not directly connected with the achievement of the goal or an objective but is rather directed to dominate others or to eliminate the opponent conflict is of 
brief duration temporary and intermittent in character but once begin the conflict process is hard to stop it tends to grow more and more bitter as it proceeds being temporarily it gives way to some form of accommodation it is the process loaded with impulsiveness of human emotions and violent passions it gains force and then bursts open unlike fighting of animals generally in human groups the spontaneous fighting is inhibited it is often avoided through the process of accommodation and assimilation it may be latent or overt in the latent form it may exist in the form of tension dissatisfaction contravention and rivalry it becomes overt when an issue is declared and a hostile action is taken it is cumulative each act of aggression really promotes some more aggressive rebuttal thus termination of conflict is not easy groups previously in conflict may cooperate to achieve a goal considered important enough for them to unite despite their differences it may be emerge as a result of opposing interest it is layered in a history of binary perceptions exile homeland outsider insider us them patriotic and patriotic it has both disintegrative and sorry it has both disintegrative and integrative effects it disrupts unity in a society and is a disturbing way of setting issues a certain account of internal conflict however may serve indirectly to stimulate group interaction external conflict may sorry can have positive effects by unifying the group according to wilmot and hawker 1998 lufloff's 1994 mcclocker and mills 1929 mckinney kimsey and fuller 1995 conflict requires two at least two entities conflict inheritably sorry inherently involves some sense of struggle or incompatibility or perceived difference among values goals and desires action whether overt or covert is key to conflict until action or expression occurs conflict is latent lurking below the surface power or attempts to influence inevitably occur within conflicts if the parties really do not care about the outcome the discussion probably doesn't rise to the level where we call it a conflict when people argue without caring about what happened next to or without a sense of involvement and struggle it probably is just a disagreement conflict give rise to a lot of tension in the individuals he becomes completely disturbed tension continues until a decision is taken and conflict is resolved conflicts can uh, be understood by examining what is not conflict is not a breakdown in communication but a process that is ongoing conflict entails communication about disagreement conflict is not inherently good or bad while people may tend to remember only the conflict that was painful conflict itself is a normal part of being human it is normal in relationship for differences to occur occasionally just as it is normal in businesses for changes in goals and directions to occur conflict is normal conflict is not automatically resolved by communication managing conflicts productively is a skill types of conflict approach approach conflict when you must choose between two desirable outcomes avoidance avoidance conflict occurs when you must choose between two unattractive outcomes approach avoidance exists when one event or goal has both attractive and unattractive features multiple approach avoidance conflicts here you must choose between two or more things each of which has both desirable and undesirable features in this type of conflict individual will have two desires with positive valence which are equally powerful for example a person has two attractive job offers and he has to choose any of them tension arises such conflicts are not so harmful because after selecting one the other one automatically subsides and loses its importance to him but in some situations choose choice will be very difficult for example a girl has to choose either loving parents or a boyfriend for intercaste marriage such cases are like you cannot have the cake and eat it too the individual will be psychologically torn and may lose equilibrium this type of conflict is shown
avoidance avoidance conflict this conflict inflows to goals with negative valence at times the individual is forced to choose one among two negative goals in such conflict both are unwanted goals but he cannot keep quiet without opting also for example a woman must work at a job which she dislikes very much or else she has to remain unemployed here the individual is caught between two repelling threats fears or situation when she cannot choose either of them she may try to escape from the field itself but the consequences of the escape may also be harmful for example a person who cannot convince the mother or the wife may resort to alcohol consumption which is otherwise dangerous or some people may even commit suicide in the event of such conflicts when there is no way of escape some people may find a way to reduce their tension by developing amnesia and defense mechanism like regression or fantasy approach avoidance conflict this is also most complex conflict very difficult to resolve because in this a person is both attracted and repelled by the same goal object here the goal object will have both positive and negative valences positive valence attracts the person but as he approaches the negative valence repels him back attraction of the goal and inability to approach it leads to frustration and tension for example a person is approaching to accept a job offer because the salary is attractive but at the same time he is repelled back as the job is very risky a man wants to marry to lead a family life but does not want the responsibilities of family life multiple approach avoidance conflict some of the situations in life we come across will involve both positive and negative valence of multiple nature suppose a woman is engaged to the married the marriage of her has positive valence like providing security of life and marrying a person whom she loves very much suppose on the other hand if the marriage is repellent to her because she has to quit her attractive job and salary recognition which makes her dependent and the situation builds up tensions in her the resolution of this conflict depend upon the sum total of the valences if the sum total of attractive valence takes up her she will quit the job and go for marriage otherwise she will may reject marriage and continue the job if the sum total of negative valence is powerful levels of conflict intrapersonal occurs within a person when he has to compare and decide between two or more options for example a secretary may have to lie on instruction that her boss is not in the office to avoid an unwanted visitor or unwanted telephone call this may cause a conflict within the mind of the secretary who may have developed an thick of telling the truth similarly many indians who are vegetarian come to america and find it very difficult to remain vegetarians and may question the necessity of the vegetarian philosophy thus causing a conflict in their minds role conflict involves very real difference in role definitions expectations and sorry or responsibilities between individuals who are interdependent in a social system in addition to these value conflicts a person may be faced with a role conflict for example a telephone operator may be advised and required to be polite to the customer by her supervisor who may also complain that she is spending too much time with her customer this would cause a role conflict in her mind similarly a police officer may be invited to his brother's wedding where he may find that some guests are using drugs which are against the law it may cause conflict in his mind so as to which role he should play as a of a brother or the person has to choose between two equally desirable alternatives or between two equally and desirable goals interpersonal occurs when two people have incompatible needs goals or approaches in their relationship interpersonal conflict involves conflict between two or more individual and is probably the most common and most recognized similarly if there are two equally deserving professors and both are up for promotion but only one of them can promote it because of budget and positional constraints then this could result in interpersonal conflict between two professors intergroup occurs between collection of people such as ethnic or racial group departments or levels of decision making in the same organization and union and management an organization is an interlocking network of groups departments section or team works
the intergroup conflicts are not so much personal in nature as they are due to factors inherent in the organizational structure for example there is active and continuous conflict between the union and the management inter organizational conflict it occurs between organization which are dependent upon each other in some way this conflict may be between buyer organization and supplier one about quantity quality delivery time of raw material and other policy issues such conflicts could also be between union and organization employing their members between government agencies that regulate certain organizations and organization that are affected by them this is all about conflict and their types this session powered by digital version 2.0 jyoti vidyapeeth women's university i hope you are satisfied with my digital session if you have any query please mention it in comment box i will resolve it thank you